guys good morning from Greece now I will show you this how I manage to lower my voice I was trying to be gentle with my vocal folds and I had in mind only one thing to be on the note like the train in the rails to do this you must not press push for resonance resonance will come after you you build the bass you must on your feet your strong feet to do this you must exercise first okay so I was doing this because I'm, I'm not a vocal teacher and uh, I didn't have uh, one back then and uh, I only was doing scales up and down and trying to be perfect on the note of course uh, my voice uh, was already mature okay so uh, I didn't know that uh, the existence of any techniques fry subharmonics or, or whatever okay I only knew that my modal voice is like this okay so I was doing this no si la sol fa you see how easy is the sounding low in resonance I couldn't go lower my E1 was blurry okay like it is now but because from C2 to F1 I was on the note gentle but day after day and while I was warming up of course okay they they were stronger and they were stronger only because I was on the note I wasn't pressing to be on the note if I couldn't hit it I wasn't hitting it I wasn't pushing because if I was doing this it it always uh, be blurry at no first be on the note gently because the most of you are young kids your muscles are not grown okay you have uh, a lot of years to reach my age or every other bus after 40 so the most important is to train your muscles to be perfect on pitch note and uh, gentle because for me to be warmed up I have to do this and uh, singing gently for at least one hour and a half here in home when I am uh, with a choir or in liturgy this time is uh, of course lower because uh, the mindset is very different the concentration is very different you cannot emulate you cannot emulate uh, the conditions where you are at home 
and where uh, you are in a place with other people and uh, after you sing or chant in front of uh, a big audience if you are with a choir or uh, if I am in church then there is a, a total different area okay the, uh, in that place we praise God so we are looking the head chanter the conductor okay in my case Theodosius Diamandis whatever he says whatever tonal base he, he give us and we are praising the Lord so the mindset is totally different everything is relaxed and everything uh, goes uh, by, by itself and when uh, we need to be extremely resonant we, are, we just are but at least for 40 minutes we are in piano mode we never push or press because for 3 hours we are doing this so if you want to be something like an octavist or basso profundo or super bass or contrabass or whatever you want to do or to be you must train not only your vocal folds but your mindset too you must be patient and follow orders from your vocal coach from whoever knows uh, some things better from you by experience okay so in my opinion don't press for fry notes or or what, what else you must have perfect perfect sound and be perfect on the note and give uh, your vocal folds and your throat muscles give them time to grow to get used uh, to the to the proper area if your modal vo uh, your modal uh, notes are an e2 or a g2 don't think that this is nothing because if you hear a true octavist in that area, in those notes, in full power, <laughs> you will piss on your pants, man. Those are money notes. It can fill the whole, whole places, whole stadiums, okay, with that notes. Set two and lower, okay, but they are not always there. And they are not always loud. And to be heard, the, the other choir must be silenced. If you see the conductor, he's doing this. He, he point to the rest of the choir and say, Lo, the contrabass must be heard. So you are saying, wow, he's doing this over a soir yes but because the other soir is silenced okay so this is not uh, nobody's superman we're not in a movie okay so if you have the, the proper mindset you will accomplish many things so if you want to try no matter what the extreme, the extremely uh, low notes do it but train yourself 80% straight and use in the end of the exercises the 20 to what you want because when your throat is relaxed and you are starting to do these exercises you must use it properly don't burn your vocal folds or your muscles 
to do the heavy stuff first because you are in a mood. But at the end of your exercises. So if you want to have big progress, you have at least two hours a day doing the scales only in your extremely easy modal voice without straining because with that small strain you might not understand it because you press so it is always the same but you lose you lose uh, the quality you must always be in the area of the quality to progress your voice so I was doing only this Mi or Do Zo Ke Zi La That was the end That was the end Okay You see as we go from uh, Codra Sol or Cato Cato V in Byzantine music uh, it goes very very quiet because I'm using my modal voice and while I'm going down now that I'm not warmed up and my mindset, mindset is not uh, in a big stadium where I must project loud and feel the whole choir with, with bass sound. That is my job. To fill the area with bass. When you fill an area with bass, nobody knows where the subwoofer is. Okay. A true basso profundo or an octavist doing this. Firstly, he's giving all the warm sound to the choir. To do this, you must be trained first. It's not doing extremely loud. First, you must do this. Or higher. I'm not pressing, I'm using the resonators, I'm not opening the mouth extremely, because all this is opening by nature. Your body will tell you how to open the mouth and how the placement. You fight it by your training. Someone like me or anybody else only will show you the way you must fight it by yourself okay guys so please don't press don't push be patient to the upper notes because if someone tell me how oh, i have a g1 every day at his 15 or 20 years old it's a little bit difficult difficult not because you can't do it but because your muscles are not ready. Of course, there might be uh, some circumstances that someone's, someone is uh, extremely unique. Of course, there are those occasions. If you ask for me, I don't know. I started uh, after my 40s. All these were already matured. So when I started to, to chant or sing, in uh, about two months only, in the extreme lows, if you could uh, hear me back then, I was only doing one, one and a half octave. Only this, I wasn't going from set three up, never. So all this 
was only the, in the Condra area. But after I, would, I trained my voice, I could go extremely high too, with better tonal quality, much stronger in the, in the Condra area, but I, uh, I wasn't aiming the extreme lows. That is why it's very hard to, to hear me go in Condra Sol or lower now because I sacrificed the extremely low, uh, low notes to have a full operatic voice in the middle and the, in the upper area. Yes, I can sing opera. I'm not trained. Okay, I, I, I am yet don't know some areas, areas. But my voice is operatic. I can sing if I want to. If you want to accomplish this, you must have a balance. You cannot torture your voice to the extremely low, uh, low notes and have the quality in the upper area. Ask Zone names. He's a perfect example. Uh, he said that too, I think, when he said that when he was singing opera, he wasn't using extremely no, low notes. He started to do now, a trying to go lower. You must sacrifice some things to have some something else. Okay, Zlatopolsky, have uh, have you ever heard him sing or have you ever heard him to reach notes beyond C3 or natural Do in the third octave? No. Of course he could. We can hear him uh, uh, sing in uh, Jay Fleming's uh, in the Octavism Channel documentary, his live documentary. In the beginning he is singing with a perfect voice, but he sacrificed himself, the conductors sacrificed him because he was unique in the extremely low, low notes. But believe me, it, it wouldn't be so easy to catch for him if he was singing also, because his mindset was only in the low and the contra octave. Okay, so you are in the beginning. So because you are in the beginning, the only thing you must do is to build step by step your voice, your muscles. So, no. So, da, or, do. and this is a cold do. It is morning here in Greece now. It is about 9.30 in the morning. Okay, I have 20 minutes that I, can, I came home, I went uh, my wife to her job and I went home because I'm lacking this, I'm a farmer, I go to work whenever I want, okay, I don't have uh, hours, certain, certain hours I'm going to, 
to my job. Okay, so that is why I'm recording it now. So, I don't know if I help you, but I, I can't uh, tell you exercises you must do. But I can tell you what I did and the mindset you have to, uh, you got to have to reach a point that from this and further uh, you could go to the era that you want, the extremely low, low notes. But you can't do it if you, if you don't master the low area. You must have the, the strength to do the humble low G2 whenever it's needed with strength, resonance and without any strain. This is a money note, a humble D2, a humble E2, a humble uh, F2. These humble notes are waiting for you to master them, and then it is easy to master. The C2 uh, You see, I'm not opening the mouth extremely because if I opened it now that I, I'm not ready it will start to fade and my muscle will start to hurt or, or be blurry, more blurry, okay but when I'm warmed up and I have to feel conservatory I don't know if it is if uh, the exact word. I open more, but now I'm in a room. If I open more and I'm not ready, I'm not doing anything. You think you are doing something, but you're not. You're losing power, you're not gaining. Clear note. Clear note. Maybe not so resonant now. Who cares? Perfect sound. Placement. No pressure. No. This is the lazy part where you can force to gain what you want to gain. But don't do it from the beginning. Do it after you master the upper area. And then you will be amazed because that will be like this by itself. Because the, mus the muscles will have will have the strength to do it. So, uh, because uh, I just started talking to you from my mobile phone, okay, and I'm not so used to, uh, neither my English are not so good. Uh, my grammar maybe uh, uh, has a lot of uh, uh, mistakes, but uh, I try to do my best to show you some things because a lot of people is asking me what can they do to sound like me or what can they do to to reach a point that they have uh, maybe the strength or um, the rage or whatever 
I have or anybody. I hope uh, I'm giving you some ideas uh, when I'm capable in the right mindset to make um, a proper guide with uh, a nice video and uh, nice graphics where we're pointing and uh, you know jumping to other videos to show you stuff uh, I, I, I will certainly do do it now it's just a role playing video uh, and me trying to give you my insights okay so I, I really thank you for everything you are doing to me uh, your support and uh, I hope you will um, help me to grow this channel because uh, a lot of things you are going to hear from me from now on. Uh, I will uh, I will sing uh, some arias from opera too, but uh, I have to study them first. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you, and uh, greetings from Greece. Bye, my friends.